This NASA animation shows what scientists say is the future of space exploration. Humanoid robots working alongside flesh and blood humans. The U.S. Space Agency is a step closer to making that a reality. Meet Robonaut 2, the first human-like robot on the International Space Station. So man meets machine aboard the International Space Station as... Robonaut 2, nicknamed R2, has been on the station since last year, but it has taken some time to check out all of its sensors and systems. Support teams on the ground and astronauts on the ISS have now thoroughly checked R2, and they are pretty excited about this special crew member. There are four Robonauts in existence, but only R2 is in space. We caught up with one of R2's siblings when it visited the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum last year. Engineers designed Robonauts with human interactions in mind, says NASA's Ron Diffler. Oh, excuse me. You want to be sure that that interaction is comfortable, similar to what it's like when one human bumps into another. NASA and General Motors work together to create Robonaut. It can perform tasks autonomously or through teleoperations, says Mike Goza, an engineer with the Robonaut team. That's where you basically put on a helmet. It has two screens in it that correspond to the left and right camera eyes. And so I see what the robot sees. The Robonaut is able to mimic the engineer's actions by following the sensors on his helmet and gloves. It becomes basically a huge puppet at that point. Robonaut's hands are human-like, so they can grip items as human hands do. That is important because the components that need to be serviced in space, and the tools to service them, were developed with human hands in mind. Goza says Robonauts could reduce the time astronauts spend outside their craft in the dangerous environment of space. What we'd like to be able to do is, while the astronauts are sleeping, we'll go out, set up all the work sites for them, so that when they go out on their spacewalk, they can get more work accomplished in that time frame. Engineers also envision Robonauts performing routine maintenance inside the spacecraft. Robonaut isn't NASA's first robot in space. Think of the rovers on Mars, says curator of the Human Spaceflight Collection at the Air and Space Museum, Valerie Neal. Robots have been explorers on the planets all along, uh, but they haven't looked like humans and they haven't acted like humans. And what's exciting about this robot is that it both looks and acts like a person, uh, a rather physically fit person. Robonauts may one day be ready to explore space. But for now, NASA is still exploring the potentials of this prototype robotic astronaut. Suzanne Presto, VOA News, Washington.